mitosis. Mitosis is a process uh, of duplications of somatic cell. It's a process of cell divisions, and uh, it's a cell division for somatic cell. Now, what is somatic cell? Somatic cells are any cells of living organisms other than the reproductive cells. Any cell which is not reproductive cell is called the, uh, the somatic cell. Eh? And the cell divide to produce two identical daughter cell. The genetic content of a new cell is exactly the same as the mother cell and has same number of chromosomes. Eh? So this is what does it mean by identicals? They are exactly the same. The content is the same. The numbers of chromosomes uh, is also the same. Eh? So mitosis is a process of cell divisions to produce two identical daughter cell. The cell that produces is called a daughter cell. Okay, so this is mitosis. And uh, the importance of mitosis, why we need to have mitosis in an organism, especially in human body. First, this is to produce new cells for growth, okay, for a growing organisms. And then um, it's also the process to replace uh, damaged or dead cells. And the last one is to repair injured organs. Huh? Sometimes uh, an organ is injured, so injured means that some of the cells has died. So we need to have a process to produce new cells. Huh? Okay, and uh, all of these are produced through the process uh, called mitosis. Mitosis process. Let's see how mitosis occurs eh, or the mechanisms of uh, mitosis. Let's say we have a somatic cell. If you still remember, somatic cells are the cells which is not reproductive cell. Okay, so inside this cell we have nucleus. Eh? This is a nucleus, and then um, we have these things called the centriole. Now, centriole play a very important role in uh, mitosis, eh? so make sure that you remember this name. Okay, so what happens during a uh, mitosis process is um, at the beginnings the chromosomes thicken and become clearly visible. Eh? Okay, so if we view it from a microscope, we will find that these chromosomes become thicker. Okay, so this is uh, an illustration of uh, chromosomes. Eh? And uh, inside this chromosome, then so we have these things called the central mirror, and then we have these structures called the chromatids. So, uh, this is the illustrations of a chromosome. During mitosis, each chromosome duplicates itself and join at the central mirror. Okay, so it du duplicate and then join at the central mirror, and the nuclear membranes disappear. This is a nuclear membranes. And when this happens, the nuclear membranes will disappear, okay? And then spindle is formed from centriole. This is a centriole, and this centriole will form these hair-like strings, okay? And this is called uh, the spindle, huh? This is a spindle, okay? So after that, the centriole will move to the two poles of the cells, and then so at the same time, the, the spindles will move to the central mirror, of the chromosome, the spindle is attached to the central mirror. Okay, so the centriole move to the two pole, and then uh, the spindle grow, move to the central mirror, and then attached to the central mirror. Okay, after that, uh, the chromosome will arrange in the middles of the cell, which is called the equators of the cell. The chromosome arrange at the equators of the spindle, and then so after that. Uh, polarization occurs where chromatid separated from its central mirror and move towards the two poles. So this process is called polarization. So the spindle will pull uh, the chromosomes to the two pole. Okay, and after that, the nuclear membranes will reform again, and the cells begins to divide. Okay, so the nucleus membranes will form and it will divide and then to, to become a two identical cell. Okay, so this is how mitosis uh, occurs. Importance of mitosis. Um, we have discussed this just now, right? Okay, so it's to produce new cell for growth and to replace all or damage or dead cells. And uh, it is for asexual reproductions for certain living things. Okay. So asexual reproductions means reproductions without sex. Eh? 
and it ensure new cells have same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. Okay, this is very important because the chromosomes carry the genetic information of the organisms. So we need to make sure that the content and the number of chromosomes remain unchanged, remain the same, so that these organisms has the same characteristics for the new cells. Eh? Okay, so this is the importance of mitosis.